Hello, this is Tol from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can actually create stairs in Blender the easy way. Uh, this is for Blender 2.8 and above. Um, not, I don't know about 2.79, but in the 2.8 and above, they have this add-on that's in Blender that comes with Blender, but it's not activated. And to activate it, usually just go to Edit preferences and you just type in Archimesh and it's here it, there's also Archipack but I think that comes with the uh, pro version of this add-on this is the free version of it and it comes with Blender and once you've uh, typed it into the search bar we just put a check box in the uh, box and that activates the uh, add-on and then once you've done that you'll see it come up on the uh, side over I'm trying to get this tutorial done quickly before my wife and my children come back home because they should be coming home pretty soon but um, you'll see create and you'll see Archimesh and this not only creates stairs but it creates a whole interior for a room which I'll probably do a um, blender tutorial on that also but with the other add-on that I showed you guys which was the uh, building tool that creates external buildings this can create the inside of a building pretty quickly and this just simple straightforward let's delete this cube here press delete on the keyboard and then all you have to do is uh, just go to stairs which is let me see stairs and it's right there and from this pop-up menu you can you know change the way the stair stairs look it's a limited amount because once again once again it's the uh, free version I think with the paid on the paid version of the add-on, there's a lot more options to it. But with the free version, it's kind of limited. But with the options that you have, it's, it's still pretty good. It can make the the stairs rectangular, make them rounded, which is pretty cool. You can change the bevel of the roundness of the stairs. You can increase the number of the stairs. Put it up to nine. Let's go back to rectangular. You can close the size of the stairs, which means if you have a staircase uh, in a in a room or a model of a stair of the staircase, you want this closed. You just press close sides, and it does that. Variable width, it does that. Uh, different thickness and heights, and uh, from the front to the side, you can just do quite a bit with it. And as you can tell, as I said before, there are a lot more options to this add-on. Once again, it's a free version, and it's kind of limited in terms of what it can do. But for the free version, it does a lot. And then once you add um, Archipack to it, I think you can download other models online from the uh, creator of the add-on. And that gives you more options also. But this is just a hidden gem inside of Blender for making the interior, specifically for, my, for this tutorial, stairs in Blender. But as I said before, I'll try to do a tutorial on using uh, this add-on to create a, an entire interior of a room in Blender. But yeah, that's today's quick tip, and I'm glad I was able to get it out before my wife and children came back. But I hope this was helpful to those of you who want to do interior design and interior modeling. This is a, a really easy way to get into it and really get this stuff done quickly. And I thank you guys who have subscribed, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And thank you guys who have watched this video and watch who will watch in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.